hi i'm mel and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new please subscribe and i thank each and every one of you who has subscribed so far if you subscribe today i thank you too so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i embroider my Cancun bag and um, these are very popular at the moment and I have found a lot of Pinterest DIY embroiderers uh, embroidery pictures that I am going to look at and make my own design and then put it onto my bag so I've just got a normal um, it's like the dark grey colour and um, I'm going to do the embroidery now I'll show you some ideas of what I am looking at doing and then we'll go from there so I like things like this, which is just round this, like this logo in the middle. I really like that. And then other stuff I like is um, like simpler versions. But what I've just found is really cute, um, which is a love heart version. So this is like a love heart and all the like roses on it. And I think that is really, really cute. Um, so I think I'm probably going to do a love heart. This has got beads on it as well, which adds a different like texture to it. Um, and I really like how this is. So first of all, I'm going to draw. I've just got this for the template for the like the circle in the middle, and I'm going to draw a template and play around with some ideas on paper. Um, and then we're going to put it onto the bag basically. So I'm going to do. I've got my paper here and obviously my bowl, so I'll show you some ideas. So uh, something really like that. It's kind of what I want to go for, and I want to go for the pink and white and green look. Now I've drawn my design on the paper. I'm just going to draw like an outline of the heart onto my bag because um, then it's easier to follow to embroider. So I'm going to do that now. So I've got a lovely box here full of all lots of colours of embroidery silks and I'm going to pick up my colours now against my bit of paper and work out what greens I want, what pinks I want, white, which I think is only this one, but there we go, and see what colours I want and then put it on my paper to match it out so we know what we're going to use and then we can put it onto the, onto the bag. Okay, so for thickness and so you can see it a bit better, I have gone for the full six strands of thread. So from this bright pink colour, I can tell you the code if you want. This is Anchor. Oh, I have it. They normally have codes on them. So this is Anchor 5436 in colour, if you want it, same as me. Um, I'll try and leave it in the description box down below too. But this is what I'm going to use to do French knots now and I'll show you how to do that on the way. Um, so it's going to be quite hard to go through first because it's going to be starting at the top of the heart where it's actually in the like the um, label bit, the bag bit, the badge a bit. So it's going to be thicker but once you get going it will be alright. So I've got my rough template with me of what I want and now I'm going to just go round it and do it. So the first thing I'm starting with is the French knot. So I've got my bright pink and my bag. And so I'm going to go up through here. So to make a French knot you tie the knot in the bottom, thread it through the bag and then you want to make five turns. One, two, three, four five and then you want to put your needle back through right near where it went through the first time don't catch the end where you've tied the knot in and then it's quite tough but you just need to pull it through and there's your first you can't really see that but that's your French knot there and then I'm going to go up and do my next one next to it now 
so again you've pulled it through one two three four five wraps round and then back in down next to it like so and then I'm just going to keep an eye on my pattern that I've used on the paper and I'm going to go next to it here now just to make it look like like buds of a flower one two three four five and then back down next to it three French knots together looking like buds of a flower and then we'll go into the leaves next to it up a bit so then you need to kind of change colour um, each time otherwise you would if you wanted to do a whole edge in green or whatever you can but I'm just going to change chop and change colours each time because it's so much easier for me to do it this way so if you turn your bag in the wrong way and just to cast off if you just hook under without going through the fabric but under the thread and pull the needle through and do that about three to four times and then well, where did I put my scissors so then with scissors you just cut it and that will stay secure. I'm just gonna cut this off because it's quite long. Um, and then you're just ready to go for your next color, really. Just so you know, the next color I'm using is Anchor two, uh, 0238, um, and this is to do leaves now. So I've got my color again, and I'm gonna put this through um, a little bit higher, because I'm gonna chain it down. chain stitch you loop it you go through and you go up where you want it to go and then pull it through and then I'm going to do another one next to it to make it into like a leaf shape So loop it and then through and then you can see like a leaf shape forming. The next colour I'm using is Anka 057, if you want the same colour. And this is just going to be an experiment because I need to make um, like a rose or like a big flower, bushy flower. So I've kind of Googled how to do this, so I'm going to give it a go. So again, I've tied a knot in the end and I'm going to just do a cross over where I want it. So this is a cross and then what you do is you, so that's tight, but it's still got loops, and then it, by the looks of it, you bring up your needle. I guess you start in the middle, don't you? Like so, and then you go round it, so you thread it through each loop of the, well, each bit of the curl. Do 
Do you reckon you always you put a, a stitch in? Must do, mustn't you? And then I've just put a stitch in in the last loop, and then you just repeat round and round until your flower is how you would like. Okay, so that's my first one and I'm just going to cast this off underneath and it does, it probably looks better, better off camera than it does on camera. So now I'm going to do a bigger like rose next to it, so I'm going to do a big cross in this dark pink um, and then do the bigger roses next to the smaller one. So I have finished this pink rose and I love it. It's so easy to do. It's quicker and easier than I thought it would be. And now I'm going to use this colour, which is 402. It's 402. And I'm going to do a smaller one here of another rose and then I think I might do some leaves in between but I'm not sure so these are the three roses now um, and I think maybe they need a bit of like leafage in between them just to so I'm going to use chain stitch in this colour I think which is the first colour I use but alternatively I might use 0932 which is this dark green actually I think I'll probably use this one so you don't know how excited I am to finish this but I absolutely love this and I thought that these would be really harder than they were and so did my mum but I've done all of this so far um, so now I'm going to do a bit of greenage again in the lighter green so uh, as you can see this is how much I've done so far and I have tried to film as much as possible my camera ran out of battery so I filmed a bit on my iPhone so now I'm going to be on to like the daisy kind of flowers and I'm using the DMC 3865. Um, if you want to borrow, use the same colour as me you can. Um, and I'm just going to use this for this and probably the bright pink for the knots in the middle. I'm going to start where the middle of the flower will be or where I think it will be and pull up the thread. And then I'm going to do the loop to do the chain and then push the needle through loop, keeping the loop out. And this is really tough to get through, but it will eventually get through. There we go. And there is your first petal, I guess.
So that's the first flower. I will do the next one down and I'm going to do three, um, I think. But then I'll do the go come back and do the French knots in the middle, which are like the ones on the badge there. So I'm going to go down and do this again, repeat it. So now I have done the like daisies as such. I'm going to do the um, French knots for the middles in the well, like this colour pink, the medium pink. Um, just to add a bit more colour and then I think I'll go down again in the green on the leaves and then back up the other side but I'm going to do more roses than daisies I think. I've done the first flower which is just a French knot in the middle and I'll do the other two now with you because I don't know why I didn't feel but it's just like normal a normal French knot basically so in the middle of the flower Oh god. And then wrap around five times. And then back down next to it. So now I've done the three daisies, I'm going to just follow this down to the end of the point with the leaves like I've done here, but in the dark green just to add in the colour. So I'm doing that now. Okay, so that is pretty cute and exciting. So now I think maybe I'll put some more green in here because it just looks a bit, like here looks really, I don't know, something's missing. So I feel like I'm gonna put a bit more in here and then I start my, up my um, bright pink French knots down here and back up the other side. So I've just cast on in the deep pink again, which is this colour, um, and I'm going to do here, down from the heart, I'm going to do three or, uh, probably be about three um, of these French knots again.
So this is my Kankun finished. It is a heart. I'm not sure if you can overly see it as a heart, but it is. Super easy to do. All you need to do is follow my steps. Um, it's just basically chain stitch pretty much all the way other than the roses. And believe it or not, these are the first time I've done these today and I literally Googled it and then just went for it. If you go for it, sometimes you never know, you'll be surprised like I am and how amazing they are. Um, my mum even thought you had to sew them on other fabric first before you put them on, but there we go. We've got a love heart full of roses, full of embroidered thread. So I used the, all six strands of thread. So I just cut the thread and I just made this into this and I think it looks super cute. So that is it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment down below if you have a Kankun bag or if you would like one, what would you embroider on it or what have you embroidered on it. Please also subscribe, push the notification bell to see when I post and thanks for watching. Bye.